Hey everyone, Dan here with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about one simple idea. Does Tamora Shigaraki, or as people love to call him, Shiggy, have a quirk that originated in My Hero Academia Vigilantes? There will be spoilers for My Hero Academia and My Hero Academia Vigilantes. So, find a seat at least six feet apart from one another, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and if you wanna yell at me on all my bullshit theories, I love me some Twitter. Let's get started. Alright, so like I said, spoilers are ahead, so I really hope you're all caught up. If you've been following my chapter reviews of My Hero Academia Vigilantes, the number two hero Endeavor just showed up in the most recent chapter to deal with Popstep, who's been brainwashed by the main antagonist of the series, number six. And in My Hero Academia, Endeavor is fighting against Shigaraki with Bakugo and Deku on the way. Now, if you follow both, you've probably noticed this, but in less than two weeks or so, Endeavor is going to be facing off against two major big bads from the respective Academia and Vigilantes universes. So my whole idea for this video is the fact that now that it's been revealed that Shigaraki has the original copy of All For One, it's all but guaranteed that now he has a whole litany of brand new quirks that we have yet to see. We could speculate that every quirk that we've seen that All For One has used, Shigaraki has, but if I were to guess, he he isn't gonna have to worry about honing them. The thing that he's gonna have to worry about is if he abuses them too quickly, causing like a weird kind of blowback. I mean, the thing that kind of stuck in my head was the fact that he snagged those quirk erasure bullets. I mean, one could speculate that they're gonna work to help his body from going out of control, but let's be real, the villains were planning a mass culling of powered heroes. But imagine if this shit ends with Endeavor dying and Bakugo becoming quirkless. That would be really wild. In addition to Deku throwing the hands like a goddamn champ, I also feel like Shigaraki is gonna have a moment where he just has too much power for a bad guy. It's known across mediums that, you know, when a bad guy gets too much power, you know, something bad always happens. In anime, think about it this way. Madara got overtaken by an alien species that downloads itself into a biological USB, and at a certain point, it can overtake the body completely and essentially become that person again? I don't know, Boruto's getting really weird, I stopped really reading it, watching it, I don't know help. But either way, both stories, it just feels like they're lining up everything in such a manner that to the average reader, we feel like Shaq and that cat gif. So look, the whole purpose of this video is that I have a hunch that it's very likely that a particular quirk that debuted in My Hero Academia Vigilantes is gonna make its debut in My Hero Academia. And it's the quirk of Koichi's teacher, Knuckle Duster. You can learn a little bit more about Knuckle Duster by clicking on the card above, but for argument's sake, Knuckle Duster, once upon a time, was known as the pro hero O'Clock, with the acceleration quirk known as Overclock, meaning that he had the powers along the lines of the Flash from DC or Quicksilver from Marvel. His quirk doesn't make him as fast as respective character either, but it's been implied that the quirk gives the user faster acceleration for a limited amount of time. Pretty much, if the user knows how to master their breathing, they can change how fast their thought processes work, or they can move faster than the blink of an eye, or use both in unison. Additionally, with the introduction of Shigaraki being able to heal quickly, similar to number 6 regenerating his limbs on top of Shigaraki's newfound speed, I think it's all but certain that he's definitely packing Knuckle Duster's old quirk. When O'Clock was around, he was one of the top heroes. We don't really know where he sat within the rankings, but if I had to guess, I would say that it's quite possible that Endeavor unseated him as the number two hero. Currently in Vigilantes, Endeavor is 46, while Knuckle Duster is 48, so it's quite possible that Knuckle Duster could have been a year or so younger than All Might. Granted, after graduation, All Might left Japan, so it really isn't explicitly implied how old he was when he returned to Japan. And if my ages are correct, when Endeavor is a senior in high school, O'Clock could have been close climbing to the number two or the number one spot in All Might's absence. Endeavor could have been the number two hero and then All Might shows up and just passes everybody. Unfortunately for the high speed hero, his proficiency with being able to track down and apprehend criminals as a lone wolf led him down the path of chasing down the infamous symbol of evil, All For One. And from the way it looks, this encounter with the symbol of evil is after the fight against All Might. As you can see here, he has the life support system attached to his throat. So even a wounded All For One was still strong enough to deal with the pro hero O'Clock. 
crushing his face and leaving him quirkless. Now with that being said, the main reason why I feel like Shigaraki possibly has the quirk is because of how the stories are just lining up. Endeavor being tasked with taking down the leader of the Paranormal Liberation Front, while in Vigilantes he's tasked with taking down Popstep in the same area the main antagonist of the series is located. I mean, in the same week, it could be quite possible that Endeavor loses a fight to two of the main antagonists from the respective series, only to have the heroes of the story step in. Additionally, the fact that number 6 has Overclock makes me think that it might be possible that we see Overclock get used against Endeavor. Besides the fact that Shiggy really needs a mobility upgrade and this would kind of be the thing that, you know, helps, if there was a moment to link Vigilantes and My Hero even further, it's now. I know my boy Vocal Pineapple made a video theorizing about Shigaraki also inheriting Float, but if that were the case, he would just have that, Float not supersonic flying. The one counter to overclock is that once you're in the air, the quirk pretty much becomes useless during freefall since you aren't in control of your body. But if you have a quirk like float that helps you maneuver, I mean, come on. And additionally, regenerating limbs by accelerating healing was something that number six was able to do because of overclock as well. Suddenly combining quirks, which all for one does, doesn't look that far-fetched. Shigaraki could be doing it right off the bat. A regenerating flying speedster with quirk erasure bullets, Shigaraki just became a real friggin' threat and I am loving it. Like he was crazy after Deka City and now he's like, holy crap, I'm eating my words here. Furthermore, the next Vigilantes release is next week. What if we see Endeavor face off against number six with Koichi? And in the same week in My Hero Academia, Deku arrives to assist him against Shigaraki. Sidebar really quick about Vigilantes here, I don't want to say Endeavor will probably go through Koichi to get to Pop, but if he does go after her with extreme prejudice, before the team tries to take down the big bad, Koichi might have to fight Endeavor. Imagine if we get to see Endeavor learn about the weaknesses of Overclock and Vigilantes, and then literally in the same exact day we get to see him formulate his plan against Shigaraki and My Hero Academia because he came at him with his senpai's quirk. Or the quirk that he just battled against years prior. About that senpai comment, I mean, Knuckle Duster was clearly older than him, and if they both attended UA, Knuckle Duster would have to be Endeavor's senior. And just seeing Knuckle Duster's personality over the past three, almost four years, I kinda think that he would probably be getting along with Endeavor pretty well. They kinda just give off that gruff persona that an adult Bakugo would give off. But if you agree with my theory and you think that Shigaraki possibly has overclock, be sure to leave a like on this video. If you don't, be sure to leave a comment. Comment down below and tell me what quirk that you think Shigaraki possibly has. Other than that, this is Dan, signing off. Peace.